each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see the opening call on the left-hand side. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one full year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you go for six months a year, if it works for you, awesome. On the 28th day, for some reason, it doesn't work for you, just tell us. You get your money back. And you're also going to get a great education because Basil has not only a great newsletter, but on his website, on the web page when you get it, okay, there's approximately 12 different archives that you can go through to understand how Basil looks at the markets each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. I, I'll tell you, we get a cold spell here, Basil, and I know this is not cold for you, but it's like 45 here. And it's terrible. <laughs> Thank God it's going back to 65 tomorrow, but it's, it's cold. Well, it's interesting because over the weekend I had uh, a son and daughter and grandkids here. And um, it was, we went outside. And my, my grandson had to, he had to play soccer outside, and I, it wasn't cold enough. I managed to get out there and play. I love but, it. Uh, yeah, what can I say? I, I, I prefer the warm weather. I, I know. Yeah. You got to do it. Okay, so what are we going to look at today, Basil? So uh, I did this with you last week, but I'm going to do it again just to show for uh, those of you who don't see my show, the Target Technicians Hour at 10 o'clock Eastern Time uh, every market day. Um, I, I try to identify the lowest low bar and then merely count each successively peak and alphabetize them sequentially, uppercase on the way up, lowercase on the way down. Peak A, the high peak is B, the next peak C, D, E, F, and G. But it's the, the upgrade of a buy signal to a buy mode that says you should go to at least a D. That's the obligation of this in the Chapman Wave technique, that once you get an upgrade of a buy signal to a buy mode, you should go to at least four, D, four peaks higher, which is D. Well, have a look at this. The Dow is in leg D at 35,518, but the nine period moving average is still very strong over the 14th. That is really powerful. The MACD is still good. Stochastic's flat at 96. The unbalanced volume is good. And so far, we don't have, I always talk about this. I'll just show this chart just very briefly here. Let me just change it, make it the Dow INDU. And this particular chart, I call it right here, Chapman Wave Dark News Cloud Cover. In other words, there's always something out there that the market doesn't like. But within the context of what the market does with that news, sometimes it just ignores, it's like water off a duck's back, just ignores bad news, and sometimes it becomes very important. So I said to subscribers, uh, when I did, I do an hour-long video um, every week, an overview of what's happened, what's going on, what we're looking at, what stocks we like. So I said, that I see some kind of short-term sell-off coming, and I don't know where the bad news is going to come, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But we're in leg D. The S&P, this is going to be very interesting if I can hit the right uh, key right there. The S&P, and one of the reasons why we went long right at the bottom, uh, we went long Microsoft, is because I considered it was the best stock in the Dow, it was the best. Uh, it was really the best stock in the Nasdaq. It was the best stock in the S in the in the S and P and the XLK, which is the uh, tech sector. So that's been a bit of a clue to us, and I'll get back to that in a moment. But look, here's the S and P makes a peak D, tiny little Doji candle. And if you look at all the candles, one, two, three, four. This is like a little bit of short-term distribution, as far as I'm concerned. So it says. On a short-term basis, we should be pulling back. So we've bought ourselves a little protection. You've got the QQQ. That's the index 100, peak D. So we've got all, and I went through about 10 or 12 of them this morning in my show, the Tiger Technician's Hour. So that just said to me, on a very short-term basis, maybe we're looking at the dollar. And we did, you spoke about the dollar accurately. But I'm saying that this 102 level that we're at right now is where we were back right here, and that was in, I think it was September, it was August the 30th. 
And in my left side, right side price time match, it's one day early to get to that, going all the way to 107.35 and it's pulled back. So this is an area that I'm thinking there's a chip. I don't know where it's going to come from, but it seems to me we're kind of ripe for some kind of bad news. Maybe the dollar has a bounce because gold has acted very well. But if you look at the GDX, that's in a huge leg D right now, so it could take a bit of a breather. I'm not sure where it's going to come from, but these Ds are what I'm watching very closely. I would mentioned Microsoft, and that's at a, a – we are – fortunately for the subscribers, we're along at 338. Here is a 380.64 uh, – no, it's a 383. Round number high today. Going to be watching that closely. So, But it's also very strong. So all I'm saying is that I think that we're in for uh, just a, bre a breather here. And how um, we've had a rotational uh, on the way up. It hasn't been all the stocks. I mean, I, I'm sure that you've even noticed it in the gold se sector that it started off with just a few, a handful that were really strong. Maybe now they start, the others are starting to move. So I think that this could be a rotational, just like a mini correction right here. Uh, we'll watch Microsoft uh, because it's done so well. It'll be giving us clues. But I also wanted to mention that. For subscribers, we long a particular stock called Symbiotic, and I've spoken about this on the show here, ooh, I think, for, for many months. We've been long since 21. Uh, it hit 64.14 on the way up. We took profits. Uh, we still hold the core position. We, Sweet. We, and look at this. It, it bounced. Even today, it was just five, six sessions ago, it was trading in the 36, 37, 38 area. Boom. Today, it hit. 59.82. I think it's also a little bit overbought. There's a leg E. So I wouldn't be surprised if we have a little bit of a pullback, but my my weekly charts are still very strong, and even the technicals on the daily. So I'm just expecting there'll be a little bit of a breather, give an opportunity to uh, maybe enter some stocks that one was looking at and got away, and maybe that'll be an opportunity. So, you know, we're talking about big Ds here. Look at this. The... Um, Ultra short Lehman 20 year Treasury bond ETF, the TBT, went to a peak F at 44.96, but the weekly chart made a peak D, and we've pulled back sharply. So, here again, I think this area in the uh, TBT at about 36 to 35 could see some support. So, I'm just thinking that maybe that's on a short term basis. Something happens, we get a little bit of bad news, gives the market a bit of a breather, and we're going to be watching uh, the different. But on a weekly basis, if you look at the TBT, uh, that's I, I have to wait for Friday because it's a weekly chart, but it looks very close to a sell signal, maybe even a sell mode. I don't want to go that far, but basically it's saying that – I'll go to the TLT for the moment. It's saying uh, – and oh, this is what I wanted to show you. This is the resistance level right here that I've drawn in um, for the TLT. So we're kind of close to that. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a bit of a bit of a rest off this spectacular move to the upside. And folks, and, um, it, it's very easy to get Basil's news out. Come over to our website at TFN. You go to the newsletters. It's on the left hand side, the opening call. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow. Warm, Tom. You must yeah, I know. Be <laughs> Stay right there, folks. Come right back.